Hello, welcome back. It is day three, trying to earn a billion dollars in Farming Simulator on season two here. We're doing pretty good. We've got 518,000 in the bank. It's not so bad. Sorry, you're seeing the line come off my GPS here. I apparently still had that on. Uh, trying to remember how to turn it off. Really don't. Um, that's kind of a problem. Oh, got it. Got it. We're good. So it's pretty busy here on the farm. We've got some car a harvest going here on our corn. And this field was corn when we bought it. We didn't plant this ourselves. Uh, but we are just going to go ahead and get the corn off of it. Is it worth it to do that? It might not actually be. But I'd, I'm already plow I already plowed slash am plowing that field over. So it really didn't fancy, um, you know, doing it again. But if we take a look, you'll see I've only got about a fourth of the field plowed up. We have more of that to do. We're working on this harvest, and that's actually coming along pretty decent. If I can, there we go, find the right, there it is. So you can see harvest is coming along pretty darn well. I accidentally drove through here with the plow, and so it's caused an issue for our hired helper. We'll fix that later. But I've got a full load, and he should be ready to harvest for a little while longer. I'm going to go dump this, and uh, I probably can get this tractor back to plowing over here. I haven't gone anywhere since I accidentally did it over there. Our greenhouse is, uh, I think it's up and running. Yes, it is up run and running. It's not producing anything crazy, just a little hobby piece. And we do have a hired worker working on some uh, contracts for us right now. We got some actually pretty high dollar contracts for plowing that we're working on. We've got a few of them in our lineup here so far today. But speaking of our day, it is 517,000 in the bank on October 1st at about uh, 1,600 on that old clock. So we're getting in through the, uh, we're coming up on like kind of evening time, getting towards, we're in like afternoon coming up on evening time here. So we've got plenty of time left in the day, but it will start getting dark. We'll try to get as much as we can done in the uh, light, and we'll just go back to our little, lovely little home and sleep as we need. But as you all know, I really don't want to be dropping too far below $500,000. I like to keep that as kind of our floor, our our family vault, our bank a little bit. Now, if we have to buy something and dip below it, as long as we have a plan to actually get ahead again within a decent amount of time, it, it's okay. I don't mind. So. Keeping that in mind, we are going to actually assist our effort of staying above $500,000 by temporarily dropping a little below. We're gonna do a little bit of a loan and we're gonna do a little bit of our own cash. I'm gonna try and half and half it a little. Make a bit of an investment into our farm to get some passive income coming. We're not gonna go absolutely crazy with the passive income, but it is very important to keep us sustained and keep us at a uh, kind of like a progressional level, you know? We can talk about putting in kind of some kind of restriction on how much passive income generators we are allowed to use if you guys would be interested in that but uh, to be completely honest with you it's already hard enough to earn a billion dollars though we can use our good old gps here i kind of had this figured out the other day now i forget what i had um we were doing nine something and so i need to put it at like probably four something or three and a half something or maybe four and a half i'm trying to think about that offset i, I, I had it fixed but i'm trying to remember how um and i think that if i take this up to uh we'll go we'll just go i don't remember what the original offset is i guess we're gonna take it to there call that good and now i want to see if this got us uh sorted out here so we're gonna do a plus direction no i'm sorry a plus heading and i want to do uh 180 hopefully that works i don't know which way i'm facing yeah, okay i am now it's not gonna line up correctly here probably i might have needed to go over more probably but this should offset us to where we uh, can plow and cover the side. You'll see I'm off right now. I think that's because I uh, just started my GPS over. I think on our next path, I'll be on the money. I think we'll be fine. If not, we'll adjust the offset, but it should be okay. Just wanna check. So they're pretty close to being done with field 11. After 11, they have to go down and do 39. And they also have, uh, there should be a pretty big one to do. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I haven't accepted that one yet. Maybe I just looked at it. Let's look at the contracts. Okay, so we have two active, one completed. If I get rid of this one, we will lose the equipment. So I, I, mean, I can't get rid of this one yet. So we need to get 11 completed, which we're close. And that'll allow us to take $24,000 to do field 70. We will do that one.
one. That's the next one. I know there's a lot of crop out in this field and we are, you know, kind of losing the value of it. We could make a lot of money off of it if we knew how to utilize it. But I just am out here doing wheelies on the train track and there's a train coming. Oh, hello. <laughs> you know, that train was, uh, he was uh, getting a little nervous up there, I'm sure. But as I was saying, yeah, we're, uh, we're actually perfectly in line. See, works out. Cool. I actually couldn't move over even more. But a little overlap, I'm not going to complain about it. Back, back on track. Sorry. I'm going to plow all this up because I think renting all the stuff to get it out of the field is just too much of an expense that I don't want to deal with. I've already tested how it works, and I just don't like going through with it. It's a long process. I'd rather just plow it over. So that's what we're going to do. But I'll tell you what, while I sit here and do a little bit of plowing, here's a small little time lapse for you. We're only going to do maybe one of those an episode. I'm not going to get too crazy with them. But if you like time lapses, enjoy this one. there you have it just a small little one for you and uh we got the load unloaded the combine's working on the half from my little plow mistake we made a little bit of progress here and i think our big fella might just be done up there uh or he's close to it 97 percent, but i don't think he's moving he's not so we got to go clean up that and that but we can do that ourselves so i'm actually going to hire this to be a wor actually let me take it off the gps sorry the worker doesn't like that then i'll put the worker in here and we will go over to this tractor and uh, clean this field up that he was plowing and get it over to the next location as well we are going to have to decide on a passive income option. Probably we could do like more greenhouses, but I think we need a little bit of the, at least a little bit of the sun solar panels or wind turbines or something like that to supplement our business. I don't want to strictly use them because they can actually get to where they earn you a billion dollars very quickly. Uh, believe it or not, I've done it, but it's just not quite as interesting. So I'm going to use them, but a little more sparingly because I just don't want to overdo it. I love this area. I used to build so many farms here. It's just so pretty. The most pretty spot to build a farm. It's very flat right over there beyond that tree. Very, very flat, easy to build. You got this little creek runs through here. You got these beautiful hills. Trust me, if you want a good spot to build a farm. This is it. Not allowed while it's turned on. Tell me how you turn on a plow and then I'll give you the keys to the kingdom, I guess. Can I? No, still turned on. Okay. You still turned on, buddy? No. Okay. Must have found the off switch, huh? Oh, whatever. So we got field 11 done. We can actually get the money from that. I just cannot accept 10. If I do that, tractor's gone. So we gotta be careful. It's 11, collect. That gave us uh, about seven and a half thousand dollars. That's gonna help a little bit. We were getting kind of low. And now I wanna sneak down to 39. Looks like is gonna be our next job. And I wanna also grab, actually, is 70 gonna be closer? Let me accept the contract. I'm almost tempted to also get another tractor going on it, but I'm not gonna. This guy's big enough. Let me see. Where are you? Seven? Oh, that big old one. Whoo. Okay. Well, 39 first. It's on the way. So let's get back down south. And once we get back down there, I'm sure our combine's probably waiting on us at this point. You waiting on us or are you still going? It looks like it's still going. Maybe? Yeah, it's still going. It's still going. We're good. Uh-oh. Can't take the bridge. Gotta take the side. <laughs> I probably could have fit, but... Oh, well. Better safe than sorry, I guess, right? My goodness. I need to pull out my little hose and clean this thing off. Also, farm sim, um... I just want to point this out. Is it this one or is it the next one? Did they finally fix it? I'm going to be so proud if they finally fixed it. Let's check this sign. Oh, come on. We're literally done with Farm Sim 22 and the sign still says north and south at the same time. You see that? You don't know whether you're going north or south. Figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> 
Good job, boys. Good job. In the grand scheme of things, a very small detail that does not matter. It's just funny to look at. Are you 39? And that's where the field looks at me and goes, oh, you never supposed to ask a lady her age. Well, I gotta be honest. I don't know how I feel about that analogy seeing as how I'm here to plow. Howdy, partner. Don't mind me. I'm just here to turn your soil. That's my job. These are not plowing gigs. They're, they're, they're soil turning gigs. That's what I do. I'm a soil turner. The brother to the father of Timmy Turner. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the hard worker going on the next one. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. And Okay, he's still going. How are you doing? 69%. <laughs> Nice. So you're going to be able to, yeah, you're not going to be able to finish it up, but you're going to get a lot of it there. You've got a while to go. You've got a while to go. I could probably get back to doing you myself. Mm, I should. My pocketbook would appreciate it. So got to turn the freaking cruise control back on or whatever the heck it's called. I turned it off like a dummy, dude, like a dummy. Okay. 18.25. What is that? Hold on. So it's 18.25. Last time I divided that by two and that really gave me 9.12, but that was not correct. I needed to divide that by two to get it halved appropriately for the size of our uh, GPS. I figured all this out uh, afterwards last time. So that means we need it to be 4.56. So there's three. Let's get it up to 4.56-ish. And 5.9 or 5.5. Five, 5.5 five, five, five will do. So that should be the perfect size for our, uh, our what you calls it. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, um, because I just redid it, you know how it's going to go. Uh, I have to. It's going to mess up because I redid the GPS and now it's going to get on its new line because we were on a previous one. But it's fine. In the grand scheme of things, as long as we stick to it, I'm not going to hire another worker on this field. We'll be okay. And also, now things will actually line up appropriately and we'll utilize the full width of both of the sides of this tool. I just really wish I could tab over there. I can't. How full are you? I don't think you can hear me. That's a shame. Oh my. And then we get down to this other end and put her down. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Line up, boy. Woo. That's what you like to see. I mean, it's a little overlap, but I'm happy with it. That'll do the job. That'll do the job just fine. Combine's still moving. He ain't stopped yet. So we're doing fine there. And it's been a beautiful October so far. October 1st, by the way. So we're actually going to get... I didn't think we were going to get uh, multiple days this month. I thought we were going to get screwed over. But turns out we're going to have multiple days. Plenty of time. We'll have our con our contract harvest done. Our harvester done. The, the guy we have contracted to do it by the end of today. So the next couple days will be mainly money making. Uh, trying to recoup our investments we've made so far full grain tank okay okay give me a two shakes of a lamb's tail and i'll be there boom got to the end we're gonna pick it up out of the ground and drop it back to the ground fantastic we can leave our gps set up for that field we can go do another task and keep it on it's not gonna hurt anything it's just uh as long as i don't <laughs> don't put it back on the gps line randomly accidentally just boop oh no <laughs> Boo -doo. Ah. We're good now. Howdy, partner. You ready to get this job done? You've been doing it since hmm, 10 o'clock. I think that's probably about when we got you rolling. Check the map while we're here. 39 is being worked on. 70 will be next. 11 is done. And 10, 10 should be done. 10 is done. I'm pretty sure 10 is done. Yes, it was done, but that's the one I got the, the equipment for. So I, I just can't get rid of it yet. By the way, I could click this right here and increase the amount of contracts I can have off of three, but the base game is at three. So I just kind of been willingly working within that confine. Um, will it potentially suck because we could lose some good contracts? Yeah, yeah, it could suck that way. But also, that's part of the business. You don't want to overcommit yourself to work and then take forever to achieve that work because then you'll have an unsatisfied client. So it's best to just work, keep your workload more realistic. It might not earn you as much, but if it's more doable, it's more doable. It's as, it's as simple as that. What do you think, Welger? Not feeling good, huh, buddy? Everyone look over here. I think Welder's feeling sick. We don't need to look at that. See what McCormick is doing, eh? Wait, what are we going to name McCormick? What are we going to... I think... I'm thinking McCorney. I kind of want to just call it McCorney. <laughs> I don't know. What are we naming the tracker? Go ahead. Let me know down below. I'm curious to see what she got. She needs a wash. Hold on, boys. I'm just going to wash it down real quick. I was talking about this earlier with the other tractor, and I forgot to do it, but I'm going to do it to mine. There we go. That's better. All right. You know what? Hold on. Sorry. It's just going to bother me. Let me... Hi. Just don't move for a second. I know. 
I'm blocking you. It's because I'm spraying your windshield. It's really bad, and I figured you'd appreciate this. There you go. Now you can keep going. Isn't that better? All right, back at it. That was a carrot field? Oh, that's cool. Carrots were in this? I kind of want to do carrots. I haven't done carrots. I kind of want to do carrots, but they're probably just as painful as... Uh, my fields are too big for carrots. I need to find a small carrot field. I know. I have a garden. Hey, we got enough land to make a garden, eh? I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I was hoping I could fool around long enough for you to be done. But I see that's not the case, eh? I'm going to go over here and get started on this, and then you're going to tell me you're done. How it's going to go. That's why I was trying to take longer, so I didn't do this. But here, I'm going to go over here for a little while. Call me when you need me. All hooked up. Get it picked up. Pick it up. Come on, buckaroo. There you go. Got to swing it over. Around town. And then you do this. <laughs> SpongeBob references. I love them. Then you line her up, pull her forward, set her down, and go to town, brother. Ooh, look at the sunset, boys. Looking kind of pretty out there, isn't she? Kind of pretty indeed. My goodness. I really hope, I really, really hope that we get these monitors and stuff and, like, maybe even, like, controls. That'd be cool. But at least the monitor's in here working. I want to be able to play without the HUD. I want a HUDless, like, a, a option to be able to play. So give me, like, a phone or a tablet for all of the, the information that I can, like, toggle and we're, like, pull out of my pocket or whatever and otherwise i want to be able to just be hudless that would be so much better like imagine the little gps and the, and the speed info all that stuff just on that tablet properly and imagine the gps like as a full square over there that's the map just stick the map in the tractor you already have the map just as giants put it in the tractors just put it on the monitors that's all i'm asking that's all i want stuff like that you know better yet give me a button to toggle between some different menus let me see my gps put gps in the game right let me see my yield right or my uh field numbers or data or whatever you want statistics those sorts of things i just think it'd be really cool if i could just tab through a couple little options in there just hit a button and it goes boop 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 ah so that's how we're doing boop boop back to the back to the gps slash map or whatever you know back to the yield monitor it'd be it, it would really really help i'd like that i'd like that a lot sun's going <laughs> the sun's getting real low big guy <laughs> and our uh, our big guy over there is about full so i'm hoping he's pretty much done with his job because i'm getting tired of paying him and our other fella I, uh, he's maybe like a third of the way he's, he's got a while how are we doing am i doing good i'm like halfway baby Woo! heck yeah making progress i only got half my sanity left and it's perfectly sized for this field fantastic <laughs> hey you've completed your task go home i'm not paying you no more get out of here <laughs> all right drop it on the ground sneak over here we're gonna get this combine get rid of before the day turns into the next day because i don't want to get charged another charge on that combine it ain't happening most of it's all gone he's got some stragglers so let's get it dumped and get it off our land i don't want it no more is that your auger ready to unload corn or are you just happy to see me it's like a shower of corn it's a uh that would probably be unpleasant i wouldn't recommend that <laughs> that would that would probably be painful uh pelted with just a bunch of little corn <laughs> getting it in your eye ah oh, could you imagine ow all right as i sneak down this way we need to go into here go into here and you you are uh least i don't want to really purchase you unless how much are you worth i don't really want to purchase you i'm gonna return you goodbye oh god don't make me crash Ooh. sorry i got scared there okay now we'll just sneak up here dump our load giggity and then uh we had the header so we're gonna get rid of this header here as well we're gonna return i think we also yeah we have the trailer least which we'll get rid of here in a second we have the plow i'm still using the plow so we're gonna keep it i guess uh but this trailer we are now not using so i'm gonna go ahead and return the trailer as well stand by what would it be that's not that bad that's not that bad oh that's not that bad how much was that thing oh not that much i don't want it <laughs> it can go bye bye we don't need it right now go away cool so now we just have our tractor that we own the sprayers that we actually own we have a plow that we've leased that we were thinking about buying um because we thought it might be useful for plow jobs but it's too small i would rather just find a big plow contract lease the equipment for it and then use that now i do know i could do 
do that uh, even for the spraying stuff. Uh, so we don't use our own tractor and we don't use our own spray stuff and, and all that. But I'm okay with owning some of it as well. I'm, I'm not really opposed to it. If we're going to especially use it, which we will be spraying, I'm pretty much guaranteed we will be spraying, then it's fine owning it as well. I really don't mind, even if it puts the hours on it. If it made, if it, we got paid for the hours, I don't mind at all, you know? Just got to make sure we get adequately paid. Speaking of which, wage wage payment, man's getting paid so good over there. Wish I was my own employee. Time-saving stock check. We've got about $29,000 worth, up to $59,000 max of value in uh, items. Mostly it's the red beet, what red beet we had harvested. As you know, we've been plowing most of that in. But uh, yeah, we did get about 65,000 liters pulled off the field before we decided, you know what, with the neighbor man... This just ain't for us. So we'll figure out something to do with that. But I'm not overly concerned about it right now. What I want to look into uh, is our next big uh, money maker here. So we've got the farm panels. Now, I wish it would tell me how much I can make off of those. We got the small turbine. That's not that bad of an investment. And it makes pretty close to the solar panel, not quite as much. So we could kind of do a mixture of the solar panel and I could try this, the smaller one. I don't know if it's actually worth it or not. It seems like it could be. I know that medium uh, wind turbine is pretty darn good. But like I said, I don't want to get carried away on those. So I'll probably run it through the night since it's not going to make really any money with solar panels at night anyways. And we'll decide that come morning. But I'm going to get a little bit more plowing done before we uh, fully call it a night here. And we'll run into the house and sleep through. See you all here in the morning. All right. Sorry. I know I said I was going to wake you in the morning. But hold on. Wait, I just want to share this with you. Okay. One moment. This is what the game looks like right now. I got the HUD normal. Everything's normal. This is what you would see. And now this is the HUD completely removed what you would see. Isn't this such a much more enjoyable experience? I'm not saying the HUD is bad. It's not. But just taking it away makes it feel so much better. So imagine the map that was originally down on the left. Now it's over there on that little, you know, the screen in the in your in your tractor, along with most other stuff. Like it would be so great. It would be so good. And then you can on the screen have your GPS lines so you can line yourself up, right? It would be so good. But as it is right now, this is the look that we have to deal with, and it's not a, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not like it's in the way or anything. It's just uh, I really wish we had a HUDless gameplay option more default in the game. But it is what it is. We'll maybe see it some year. Okay, this time see in the morning for real.